Hello everybody, this is Greg29407, back with another edition of Strat of the Avatar. Well, here we are up in the Druckwald area of the map, way up here in the, the top corner, uh, with our, the lovely Tiffany St. Ange. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go through the Graf gem mines today. I thought I'd take you through a little uh, tour of that uh, map. Uh, there are a lot of gems, of course, because of the name. Also some copper and a little bit of gold. And because gems are going to be an even important, more important part of the game coming up soon with uh, lava fishing, where you have to use gems to catch lava fish of some type, um, more people will be uh, going after gems and gems will be more in demand. So I thought this would be a good time to, to go through. I usually like getting the gems for making glass. Then I turn the glass into uh, wall mirrors and sell those on my one of my uh, merchants. So the other good thing about this is that the drug vault region up here uh, is no longer gated by this Vauban Pass thing, which, as viewers of my videos know, I absolutely hate. Um, they've got the gates wide open now. You can travel anywhere you want, and it's much easier to get up here. And on the plus side, uh, more people, I've noticed, have started to get houses in this drug vault area. I went into Brookside last night, in fact, and uh, there were quite a few more houses in Brookside. Still not a lot. Uh, but before, I think there were only like 11 of us that had houses there, and now it's up to about 20 or 30. So it's getting there. It's, it's, at least it's getting a little bit better. Um, so let's take a look at the Graf Gem Mines. Uh, they're way up here, the, the northern part regions here. There's the town of Spite, uh, which is actually fairly well populated. And you come up here between these two mountains to the Graf Gem Mines, and uh, you have to go through a little map. Now, the map for the entrance is, I think, a tier three. So it's not too bad. Uh, can be a little difficult, not too bad. And, and for Tiffany, it won't be bad at all. The mines themselves, I think, are tier five. And we'll go through the, the mines and I'll show you some tough parts of that. So, and there's, a, there's a, some missions in here. You can talk to these guys and they give you a, a few missions here that tie in with port graph and everything. So we're going to run through, and here's our map, and the graph gem mines themselves are right back here. So we're going to run through here, take a little loop up, go over this bridge, and then we'll pop right down there. This is this is a pretty good map if you're around tier three for for doing some things. Um, we got some setters up here that we're going to make short work of. Oh, cobalts, cobalts, sorry. And one thing I've noticed when I'm, when I'm going up here, if I want to um, look for a lot of copper or, or after a lot of gems, uh, I'm not going to do a lot of the looting of the corpses because if I'm up here, I want to be up here for a while. And you can really fill up your uh, uh, backpack with stuff really quickly. And then you got to go back and you got to unload it and things. So generally, I will go ahead and, and, and loot very little on the bodies. Now, here's a ladder right here. And we're now up here. We're going to go across. We've got a few grizzly bears and some, some skeletons we're going to fight. Again, all tier three stuff. And here's the bridge. Here's the undead. Oops. Again, for tier three, this is a pretty good map to, to level up on. Now, here we come to the clearing down below. And you can run around here to get to the entrance itself. Or if you just want to save time and avoid, you know, unnecessary fighting. What you can do is go right up here. And the entrance is right down there. So I'm going to run right on in. <laughs> it's a time saver. And when I was lower level, that was a great way of doing this just to, to get out of fighting some, some tough guys. All right, now, here's our map. 
And this uh, map has roughly three levels. Uh, this is the first room we're, we're in right now. Then there's a second room and then a third. Uh, this first room, first of all, let me say this. Back in the day, all the mines in the game had the same basic map set up. And it was really useful. So I, what I would do is I would go into one of the maps, like maybe Verdantis Mine or Elysium Mine, which had the same map at the time. And I would just kind of run around this first room and run around in circles and you'd fight the kobolds and, and you know, get either the copper, if that was in the map, or the, the iron. And uh, I had like a, my own little loop. And sometimes it get a little over, you know, a little tough. I take on more than I could and I have to run out. Uh, but it was really, really useful. It was good for grinding. Now, they've changed all the maps now. I think this may be the only mine left that uses the same exact map. Um, I still like this floor plan that they've got here. And uh, what we can do is we can run around here uh, in, this, in this room up here and get all of our copper. And there's not many, there are no gems in this area, but there's a lot of copper. If you want copper, this is a good room to run around in. Um, now, after that, you can go through this hallway and there's some gold right in here and you've got some skeletons and things like that. This is an entrance to Spindrift Passage and you would get a key to that from a, a cobalt foreman that's up here. Uh, then we would continue down here to this second room. This is the toughest part of the map right here. This thing still gives me a hard time. Um, not because the enemies are hard because there's so many of them. They swarm you. So th they have some good gems in here. Then you go through this series of maps and there's some undead and some cobalt to this third bottom one. And the bottom level has a lot of gems. The enemies are not too bad. There are some, um, uh, ele some earth elementals. And uh, you just really clean up in here. There's some copper as well. There's an entrance to uh, the rule vault, uh, rune vault, sorry. Uh, so if you haven't done the uh, main story quest, this is a good way of getting through there without going to PVP map. Uh, so you can run around here. And um, now the one thing that's not shown is there's also, they've added this later, there's a room right in here, a big uh, water room here with gems and some cobalt. So you can actually bounce from this entrance to this one, to this one, and into this second room. Um, and there's some gems in there as well. So enough of that. Uh, let's go ahead and get this thing started. I'm going to load up on my strength. Oh yeah, I'm going to eat some food too. I think I'm going to have uh, crocodile skewers. And that's really just to keep my focus up because I'm going I'm to get my water elemental and my focus goes down. And I use pole arms on this character and pole arms are very uh, resource intensive. So uh, I need to have that little extra boost. Let's go ahead and pull up uh, my water elemental, Laura Palmer. She'll be working with us on this and I generally put on my candle too. There are a lot of these uh, little lanterns down here but all right so when you first come into this thing you're gonna get uh, several of the enemies attacking you at the same time so be prepared for that And a lot of times, like right now, I have to be careful that my water alone doesn't get her behind kicked. I just want to keep all the aggro on me. All right. Again, I'm not going to loot those guys. So again, you're going to have, I generally will start off going uh, to the right. There's a well-known study that says that when you walk into a store, a grocery store, department store, or anything else, 90% of the time you will turn to the right and go that way first. It's kind of interesting. I, I know as I do the same thing on these mines, so I'm not sure why that is, but people would typically go to the right. Unless they know exactly something that they want and they know exactly where it's at, then they'll go to that. But generally when you walk into a store, you turn to the right. Now, I'm not going to do the entire mining in here, I'm going to go like sometimes there, there's there's generally some copper that'll pop up here, and the copper in here will will regenerate, which is really useful. Um, you can do a, a couple of cycles at the room, and then maybe take a little break, 
and then uh, come back, and then they've, they've rejuvenated. Um, there's also some coils of rope down here you can get. Now, the other reason to not loop the enemies down here is that it takes them longer to respawn. So those bodies in there the, that we've already killed, they're going to sit there for a while. It means new ones won't, won't pop up in their place. Um, so if you're grinding for resources, that's a good way of doing it. If you're grinding just because you want to, to fight the enemies, then not such a good idea. Now this passage takes us deeper into the mine. We'll go down there in just a couple of minutes. We'll see some of the undead that are in there. A couple of ropes. Oh, here is the Cobalt Foreman. Now, he's tougher, and you do want to tr check him for um, looting. Uh, because occasionally, or most of the time, uh, he will give you a key to go into that spindrift cavern I think we saw um, when we looked at the map. Let's see. Yeah, Graph Gem Mines, the Spindrift Passage Key. So I'll go ahead and take that. Uh, spindrift Passage is another way to underground here that you can go through um, to get to other underground parts of the map. Oh, there's also... Uh, an entrance to the fall here, which is not on, is not lo written down on the map. I think it's right here, or maybe no, it's not there. Somewhere down here is the passage to the fall, uh, which is one of the higher end uh, sections of the map. There are entrances to the fall from a lot of different places. I generally don't go that in there because everything in there can kill me. So <laughs> I'm too much of a coward. I want to, I want to level up and and feel my strength. I don't want to get beat up. Then you would come down this way, and a couple extra ropes here. I always turn on all the lanterns. Uh, you can okay. get some free stuff, a couple of mugs if you want, some more rope. I always take the rope. Now the rope in here used to regenerate over time, just like the gems and the uh, copper do. They don't do that anymore. Uh, at one point I had like 500 coils of rope you know it was, it was great now here's an entrance to the to this water room again it's not shown here on the map it's not here at all it actually there's an entrance up here this one this one and then one here so this is actually a big room uh there's some walkways or a bunch of gems in there the primary gems in here uh are going to be um emeralds and those purple ones which i they're not amethysts. i can't think what they are um those are the main ones in, in this map Later on, when we go down below, we're going to see some amethyst and diamonds as well. What is the purple ones? I can't remember. We'll find out soon. So typically you would come around here, and there's a decent amount of copper. Um, you can just make the cycle around and around and around. Oh. You know, I always prefer trying to get the, the iron mines, and they're a little harder to do. The iron is generally in demand quite a bit, of course, and uh, the iron mines are tougher. In fact, let me see here. Uh, iron is good in spectral mines, which we've done before. Um, Exeter crag mines, which are pretty tough. Uh, serpent spine mines, which are very hard. And, uh, and then the other ones, uh, this one, Graf, uh, Verdantis, and uh, Elysium are mainly copper mines. So that's kind of the breakdown of the mines for you. So a lot of times what you can do is you can just kind of go around the cycle and get a lot of copper. Um, the new Elysium mines, well, I should probably do a video on that at some point. Um, that one is, is, was changed, but it's actually changed, I think, for the better. It's, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, they also have some puzzle, a puzzle for one of the banners in there, which I have not been able to do myself. Um, it's pretty tough. But um, there's, it's great for, for picking up iron in there. And so it's, it's, it's a pretty good one. And it's a, kind of a fun map, too. This entrance here, again, to the same big room. 
uh, this water room, as you can see with the map. We were at that entrance, and again, this one of the four. The maps that we have over here are, uh, in some cases, very out of date. Um, I don't think anyone's really updating that anymore, which is a shame because it's a really useful resource. Um, I went into Brookside last night, and that map has been messed up for a long time. It's just, it's useless. Um, they have all the properties in the wrong place, the houses in the wrong place. It's just, yeah. I think that's low on the, the list of things to fix for the developers, I guess. And we got a few more crates to kick in. Good thing about the copper is it's easy to spot. So, you know, you can find plenty of copper in there. Um, I don't know if I've done a how-to on spectral mines for just getting iron. I know we've been in there before for something else, but I don't think I've done that just for iron. That's, uh, that's a tough one. That can be a challenge. All right, let's... Uh, so I just would do those room, this room over and over again. Here's some more enemies over here. Let's finish them off. And then we'll continue on with our tour of the map. So let's go this way. Let's, we'll take the, the pathway. We won't go through the big room yet. Ah, there's this. So this guy was, was invisible. These shock monkeys, which I hate. And it doesn't matter how much defense you have against shock. It seems to always get me. I don't know. Uh, now in here, there's going to be some gold and also the undead. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was, uh, yikes, that was loud. Holy moly. Apparently someone sent me an email. Okay. So this is the really the only goal down here. Now this used to um, rejuvenate as well, just along with the, the copper and everything. It no longer does. I think that if you come back to this room later, it will be rejuvenated some, but then after that it's kind of, kind of all gone. So, oh, oh no, what, some, something's damaged. Let's see here. What has gotten damaged? Oh boy, my chest piece. Okay. That's fine. Turn on the candle. So there are like five or six good sized chunks of gold and the next time you come through here you may get one or two, and after that, it's kind of all gone. It used to be, again, you can get lots of gold in here. I think they decided they didn't want everyone just mining all day, every day in the game. Okay. So let's continue on through these tunnels. And we got this like little twists and turns and everything. And this is kind of a, a dead end area here. Here's the gate to uh, the fall. Okay. Oh, that is right. Okay. So that's the little gate to the fall. You don't want to go in there. Come around this way. Put on my defenses. All right. Now, if we come continue through here again, this is that same big water room. This is the third of the four entrances. Again, here we are. So again, the room is like right here, and you can see it's the the purple ones. I, we're gonna find what the purple is in a minute. Let's continue down the the hallways. So we go deeper and deeper into the mine. Down here is the gate. Someone's shooting at me still. 
Uh, to Spindrift. I think it's the, yeah, that's the key to Spindrift Passage. Oops. So if you get that key from that the Cobalt uh, Foreman, then you can go right in there. Okay. So there you go. Got Spender Passage. We're not going to go that way. There's a little dead end down here. We'll continue following the tracks. Deeper, deeper into the mine. Oh, I don't want these irritating shock monkeys. I am going to go ahead and loot this guy because I'm going to get some metal scrap. Okay. We have arrived to the entrance of the second room. Now, this is, the, this is a tough room. I am not going to lie. I don't care how high level I am. Oh, don't go in there. Don't go in there, Laura Palmer. I gotta pull her back. Come back. Now she's getting beat up. This is a tough, tough room. There are a lot of enemies here, and the reason why I said this is because there are so many enemies. Let's go ahead and... And they will swarm you like you wouldn't believe. And there are a lot of these stupid archers, too. Archers and mages. Very tough. I'm going to keep my water elemental handy. I don't want her doing trying to do too much damage. I want her healing me. Okay, there's more in here, but we'll take advantage of the slow down here. That staircase there takes you to that room again, the big water room. Um, it's right here. And again, it can connect. So you can actually bypass the hallway we just took to go directly into um, directly to this room. And if you want to, run down the circuit and run through that hallway there to, to avoid the whole room. <laughs> Small amethyst. That is, okay, the purple is the amethyst. Okay. I should probably know that. We had diamonds over there, and then there's something over there. I'm not sure what... I thought that was Amethyst. That's Garnet. Oh, okay, Garnet is the... All right, Garnet. So those are the, those are the four we're going to get in here. Emeralds, Amethyst, Garnet, and Diamonds. Not too many Diamonds. And of course, our copper and a little bit of gold. Now we'll go around, we'll make one cycle through this room so you can see where everything's at. But this is the way to go deeper into the thing. I'm going to take that in just a minute. And maybe we just got lucky this time, because generally there's a lot more enemies in here than this. Last night I came through uh, the room, uh, through that big water room, through this way. And uh, holy smokes, they came up the ladder and, and chased me into that room. And then I had, then when I killed those guys, I came in and I had a full room of, of guys to kill again. Here's an earth elemental. These aren't too bad. But they do shock you a lot or, or stun you, I guess, because of their earthquake. Garnet. Okay.
And these things will replenish, the gems and the copper will replenish at not such a bad rate. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's not too bad. Um, you'll have a, a few times where you want to, i just skip some copper, uh, where you may want to have to, you know, take a coffee break a little bit to uh, let it replenish. But overall, it's, uh, it's pretty good. And it's, you know, a decent amount of things. You, you're, it's worth your time. As long as we're here, let's go up. Oh, see, there, these guys are already coming back. Oh, no. See, there they go. Let's go, this Let's go into the big room. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay. So, again, this is the fourth of the four entrances. And it's one big room. It goes around like this. And uh, so I think, we'll again, we'll go to the right. And you have the same uh, uh, gems, the amethyst and the, the emeralds in here. And there's some cobalts. And there's not a whole bunch of cobalts in here. But enough to, to keep you occupied. And they have these little things above the water and everything just to, for flavor. But if you're a somewhat lower level character, if you stay in that first room that we were in, uh, you can kind of like take little baby sets into this room, get a few gems, put a cobalt, and then when the second cobalt attacks you, you can run away again. <laughs> That's what I did. You get a little bit into the gems because, you know, the first room they don't have any gems in, so you can get a few gems that way and then run back, and that way you get a little bit more for uh, your skills as you as you build up your your skills, your defenses, and your your powers. It's always baby steps in this game. It takes a lot of grinding, and a lot of time, and a lot of effort. Um, it's baby steps. I am still adventure level seventy nine on this character. And it's been that way for months. I don't know. Ugh. Here's some more gold. Oh, that's nice. Oop. Okay, I got a water elemental. It's causing me some trouble. And these guys are tough because they heal up so fast. And if you get two of them, then they're healing each other up. Ah, that's a pain in the neck. You see there's a cobalt over there. And there's some other chests and things you can, or, or uh, crates and barrels you can bust up in here. So we'll just do the perimeter around here. Some more copper, some more amethyst. It takes 25 of these little crystals, and you get an X number for each one, uh, to make a sheet of glass. So I just got seven there. So I made a bunch of glass this morning and made some more mirrors and put them on my store. Some items like wall mirrors, wooden chests, trunks sell a lot. Oh, and the hanging plants. Those things sell great. So I'm always in the market for making more of those. Oh, there goes another. Oh, boy. Again, this room isn't bad at all. Unless you're lower level, and then it can be a little tough. Water elemental versus water elemental. See it heal it up, and very frustrating. All right.
Let's see here. Okay, you see there's one of the entrances right there. That's going to be the first entrance into that first room. Again, there's plenty more stuff to mine here. So again, we come up here. Oh, there's the there's the Cobalt Foreman again. We're back in our first room. another cobalt foreman that wouldn't be fair okay so that's the first entrance and then we came around here the gold right here is the second entrance again still from that first room this is where we got our, those coils of ropes Continue around here. And here's this third entrance. Oops, who's at me? Or oh, no. Here's the third entrance. And again, this was in that hallway where we ran into the, the undead. They're probably down there right now waiting for us. All right. So again, you just kind of make a loop all the way around. Oh, there's some more gold. I some... Sorry, but I can't turn this gold down. So again, once again, you can just kind of make the loop. And here's back in that hard second room. All right. Let's run through here quick, 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 quick. I want to get a little bit of private space. Because I knew my, uh, oh boy. Oh boy. You see, this is what happens. enemies. Yeah. There's my water elemental. There you are. Jeez Louise. Yeah, see this is this is this is typically what happens when you get into this room. smokes that is typically what happens when you enter that, that second room oh boy did I pull did I manage to pull every enemy out of this room I think so so geez all right yikes 
So that, that, that ate me up a good bit. Um, I'm going to grab this guy again. Got a couple of these. We fought hard enough for it. Give me something to sell later. Okay. So, where are we at on the map? Okay. So now we're, we've gone through the second room, and we have this little series of maze things. Got, but it's pretty simple. You just kind of follow the tracks and get to this third room. So we'll take our time going through here, looking through all the different places. Generally, you're going to follow the tracks. Like that's a little dead end there. That is. Now, right in here, this is a fake wall. We're going to have some undead in here. They stun me immediately. And we have some diamonds in here. They're, they're guarding diamonds. So this would be a good place for a treasure chest too, but they don't have one in here. Oop, kind of went out. Yeah, again, when I was doing this last night, I loaded up with so many gems that I, I filled up. It was uh, It was pretty good. And I did the first room a few times, went to the second room, did that a few times, third room, did that a few times, came back to the second room, did that a few times. So I kept, kind of kept going back and forth and things. Um, but yeah, it, it just loaded up. Okay, let's continue on. Follow the trail. Where are we at on our map? We're right here. We're going to have some more kobolds to fight. Now here we can go two different ways. If we go this way, we're going to have a little dead end room. Oh, one of these fawns. Yuck. Hit him. Hit him. Okay, I don't know what happened there. I was unable to. I understand missing your enemy occasionally, but not that many times. Okay. So there's not too much in here. She managed to make contact with the fawn. Yeah. Forget it. Let's continue through. Another fawn. Can I hit him with my arrow? Come on, hit him. So he's really hard to target this guy too. Okay, we're getting close to the to the, this third and final room. We got this little opening area with a bunch of kobolds. I see a bunch. I think it's maybe one or two. Okay, well, not too bad. Now, right down here. There's another fake wall. And you see that right here on the map. And this is the entrance to the, the third and deepest part of the mine, but not the hardest part of the mine. 
And this has a lot of gold and gems and everything else like that. So, and primarily just these earth elementals. That's that's all they have down here. And again, they're going to stun you. And they have that hold on you, you know, the, the, whatever they call that thing. Which mainly just kind of gets in the way when you're, after you kill them and you're, you want to go back to mining and you're still stuck in, in place. So. Okay. You know, you got some nice gold in here. Again, it's a, it's a round room, some water in here, and then there's an entrance to uh, the rune vault um, for the main storyline mission. Again, generally, if you do the entire room, then there'll be some things that have already re replenished by the time you get back to the starting part right in here. Uh, but you have to wait a little bit. You know, it'll be a, a really decent uh, haul on one round, then maybe a really weak haul the second round, the third round, maybe good again, you know, that kind of thing. But once you're down here, you're down here. You can spend the whole afternoon down here if you wanted to. Which we won't do for this video. Now I believe there's also a handle. I just remembered this from a long, maybe a year or two ago. There's a handle in that last room we were just in, not the room, but the uh, where you fought that last cobalt mage. I think that if you click on that handle, it takes you back to the first room automatically. Is that the case? It was at one time. I don't know if it's still there. We'll, we'll check that out, if I remember. So you can go back and forth. Where you, wouldn't, you don't have to run all the way back from here all the way to the very top of the map. You had to go through that second room and all that stuff. I think if you click on that handle, it takes you up all the way automatically back to the first room. I think. a little bit of garnet action here. We'll check that out in a minute. So a few more diamonds and garnets down here that we saw before. So we come around here, and this time I've gone to the left rather than to the right. I don't know why. I just do. This room is more conducive for that. I think because they had some, some good stuff right to the directly to the left of the uh, thing, and it seemed like it was a little bit more open. Uh, but again, it doesn't matter. Oops. So lots of good stuff down here. And goes all the way around. Got a bit of gold here. There should be an element. There's an elemental sit right there. That entrance right there, that goes to Rune, uh, the Rune Vault, in fact. Um, yeah, exit to Rune Vault. And um, we won't go through there, but um, so if you do have the quest, then you need to get to that. that the, rune is, the Rune Ruins 
are pretty tough. Uh, it's a PvP map, and getting through that, you have to go through the map to get to that big castle, and you have to fight through all those skeletons and the, the secret passages and traps just so you can get that vault. Well, this is a, a tricky way of doing it. You can go this way. Um, this is a little bit more straightforward for me, because uh, it's got to have done enough, but this is an alternate for you anyway. And it bypasses any PvP. So again, we're just kind of looping around the side here. Another elemental. Giant cheap chunk of gold. There's one over there too. Get some more of this. So again, I'm kind of doing this a little sped up from from normal because I don't want you to sit there and spend three hours watching me mine. That's I don't want to watch myself mine for that one. It's ridiculous. Um, but as you can see, you can spend quite a bit of time down here um, doing whatever you need to do. We're almost back at the front gate. Oh, boy, look at this. A wall of gold and just a wall of gold. Yikes. Golden diamonds. Look, I'm mining my water elemental. Failed. Yeah, last night I had a 99% chance of success and I failed twice in a row on the same node. Ugh. All right, one more. Let's see if I can find that handle and see if it still works. I'd forgotten about that. I'd completely forgotten until just now that there was a, the, there used to be a handle at least. When I first came down here, someone, uh, another player took me down here and showed me the ropes. Damn it. And, um, and showed me that handle. And, but that was two years ago, maybe. It may have just been a temporary thing. So people get in and out. I don't know. Let's see. So again, here's here's where we came in. Then here's where we came in. Oh, this guy's already respawned. Ah, kill him without without getting stunned. All right, there's some more gold. Anyway, let's go back up here and see if we can find that handle. Need the cobalt mage. Because if you're down here, and you and you, know, you fought your way all the way down here, and you, you're doing your stuff, you say, "Well, I don't want to leave," but you don't want to have to fight all these guys trying to get out. Oh, another mage, hide in the corner. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Oops. The coat. What's the foreman doing down here? Yikes! He is a long way away from his post. You just run, run back to wherever you came from, man. 
See that handle's not down here anymore. It may just be gone. It's right over here somewhere. Somewhere over here. Oh well. It may very well have been removed. But that's okay. So anyway, um, that is the Graph Gem Mines. Uh, hopefully that'll help you out. Um, I'm going to loot this guy because why not? I have one of those keys. Um, again, there's, there's, there's quite a bit of gems you can get down here. Some decent gold and copper. Um, some good action too. So if, if you, you sometimes you may want to come down here just to do some fighting and get some, some uh, uh, XP from those guys. Also good for that. Uh, you can get to Spindrift Passage, which I haven't done before. The Rune Vault. Uh, you can get to the Fall. And uh, so there's a little bit of everything for you. So give it a try if you're up here. Uh, it's now easy to get up here thanks to the, uh, those gates being opened up. And uh, give it a shot. So until next time, this is Greg29407 along with Tiffany St. Ange and our Water Elemental Laura Palmer from Twin Peaks saying Arriva Derchi, and we will see you next time.